Hi my friends, today we model this part. It is symmetrical. It has some interesting uh, features. This is the drawing and uh, the part is number 13 in my collection of 100 parts. We start by creating this contour only to here. A new sketch with this contour. Dimension 61, radius 28, 172 and internal diameter is 58. We'll extrude this on 70 millimeters. We start but uh, before this we select CAD instead of uh, Blender because we create uh, mechanical parts. We take uh, info from Net J Stanley, FreeCAD or CAD and Blender can both export to many of the same formats, notably STL for 3D printing but their internal data representation and supported workflow is completely different. FreeCAD is more appropriate when you want mechanical parts and Blender is more appropriate when you want something artistic like a figurine. Now we can really start. We create a new empty document and a sketch. This plane is uh, interesting for us and we draw a polyline starting from here to the right then m m m three times for an arc tangent to the previous line once again m m m for another arc then we move this to here and this up to place uh, vertical between these two points and dimensions. This is 172 divided by 2. I suppose you already noticed that uh, if you start the dimensioning you can click here and automatically is selected this point if you don't select another entity. Take a look here 61 is this position about the center point. You see 61. This is 28 and this is half of uh, 58. 58 divided by 2. Now we have a fully constrained sketch and we can make something new and very interesting. We'll use offset for the first time. To do this we'll select all the three segments and we activate this tool offset geometry. You see this is what we create. The thickness or distance here is 16. The dimension is here. Then we select non-necessary entities to keep only what we need to have. 
Now we add uh, three lines. One, two, both are vertical, you see here the mark. And one is uh, this one between these two points. Then we select each of these three and we apply equal. We place the dimension of 16 because we miss it. Okay, and now we move a little some entity, you see, but this point must be coincident with the, the other point. Only one degree of freedom is uh, missing. If we move this uh, arc, we see that uh, this is not horizontal. Let's apply horizontal and now we have a fully constrained sketch. We select this to apply construction and we have a close contour. Close. You see how is this placed and as you know we apply extrude symmetrical on 70 millimeters. Good. This is what we have and we apply mirror. To do this we select this last feature and we select this mirrored. Well, the first volume is uh, created. We continue with this uh, spherical cut. Dimension is uh, radius 28 placed at a distance of with the center a distance of 106. We create a new sketch in uh, this plane. I apply section to see inside because if I don't we can create a circle with the distance based on this projection the distance from the bottom that 106 millimeters by applying collinear or on the same horizontal these two points and we don't see the circle now if I select section we see the full circle I place here the radius the diameter is 28 multiplied by 2 if the radius is 28 and now we have a green contour but we have to place an axis for this object and we place coincident these two trim this and take a look now we have a fully constrained sketch close and we apply groove tool we have the part 
Okay. Good. Other cut is this one, this, with dimension 61, 8, diameter of 15. We use this plane. Once again, I apply this to have uh, a vision inside. a circle with diameter of 15 then a rectangle starting from the circle to up then uh, we place a dimension of uh, 8 here 8 Coincident this point with the circle, then uh, trim of this arc and we select this line to be construction line. Then we project. I call project to create external geometry, you know. Now, I project this and I place coincident this line with this end point. The other dimension is uh, 61. We apply 61 by selecting only one point. Okay. We have a fully constrained sketch, close, and we apply pocket, which means uh, extrusion with cut. We apply symmetry, we apply through all and we have that uh, interesting cut you see the difference now we have to apply fillets and this uh, slot on both sides the slot has uh, dimensions of 32, radius 6, 130. Face, sketch, and we place a slot here. This vertical, the distance is 32. and we apply 6 at the radius then we select this point uh, this point and this axis to apply symmetry the distance is not present so we apply here 32 then the distance from here to this center by default you see you can place a dimension like this but mostly this is the dimension 172 divided by no 130 divided by 2 okay fully constrained close and uh, pocket pocket through all 
you see here. Then we apply mirror, but we do this by selecting the pocket and uh, we apply mirror. You see, automatically it appears here. Okay, now the fillets. Radius is uh, 4. I select this, then uh, I keep press the control key to select this, control select this, and control select this to apply fillet. Now the dimension is 1, but we want to be eight, uh, 4. I rotate up, up, and up to get 4. Okay. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.